What's up, o doers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to discuss how to configure price lists for customers and products using the Odoo sales app. Companies often utilize price lists to charge different prices on products or offer customized pricing for specific customers. Targeting regional demographics, adjusting B2B or B2C pricing. Running seasonal product sales, but here at Stealthy Wood, we have a surplus of outdoor furniture in our warehouse. To clear it out, we're setting up price rules for a big sale. So let's dive in and see how we can do that in Odoo Sales. All right, kicking things off here in our sales app, we first need to head over to configuration at the top, followed by settings. And here, we just want to make sure that our price list setting is enabled. As you can see, we've already ticked this specific checkbox, but if you haven't done so yet in your database, make sure to do so and then click save before moving on. Now let's migrate over to our price list page and we can do that by clicking this price list link beneath the feature. Here you'll see our currently defined price list. We have our Benelux here for a special discount for Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, including currency conversions. We have EUR here, which is special pricing for our European Union and membership discounts on special items and shipping for our loyal customers. But now let's create a new price list for our end of clearance sale. First, we're going to click new in the upper left hand corner. And we're going to name this price list winter outdoor furniture sale. We're going to leave the company field here as is, and we're also going to leave the country groups field blank. To apply to all Stealthy Wood customers. If targeting a specific region, you could select one or multiple country groups here. Then in the price rules tab, we're going to click add a line. Right now, we'll be creating an advanced price list rule through this pop up window right here, but I'll also show you how to create a basic one later in the video. First, we can select if we want this rule to apply to a product or a category. We're going to select category for this example. And beneath that, in the category field, we're just going to type in outdoor and select all saleable outdoor furniture as our category. Next, we can determine the price type. You can read about these options in our documentation, but Odoo allows us to enter a discounted percentage. But we can also add a discounted fixed price like $5 off, for example. But today, we're going to be using our most dynamic one, which is formula. Now watch this. First, I'm going to apply a 20% discount. And notice the blue tip boxes here on the right. These help provide a guidance for configuring detailed price rules. We love making our prices end in 99. It makes customers think the product is cheaper than it really is. So to make sure that happens every time, we're going to round this off to 10. And then below that, we're going to follow up with the extra fee setting and put minus with that set up, Odoo will know to round up the price of an outdoor item to the nearest $10, then subtract one cent. To encourage larger purchases, we're going to set the minimum quantity field here set to two. And this ensures that the discount applies only when customers buy at least two outdoor furniture items. Now this sale only lasts through the winter, so we're going to click on the validity period here and we're going to start this with today and then click apply and then we're going to click the end date here and put it to the last day of February then click apply again. Okay, this looks great and we're all set here so we're just going to click save and close. Now with that we have a new price rule added to this tab and just so you know you can add as many of these price rules to a price list as you like. Advanced price lists such as the one we just configured can also be applied for subscriptions through the recurring prices tab here. For more information about that, check out our subscription tutorials. But moving on, we're going to click this e-commerce tab here. And you're going to notice that the furniture sale can be applied to our website as well. And below that, we have a selectable checkbox. And when that's tick, this makes the price list viewable and selectable for our customers on our online store. Now, let's see this price list in action. We're going to navigate to products at the top, followed by products again, and we're going to select a piece of our outdoor furniture, like this outdoor chair. And we're just going to jump to the product page on our online store. And to do that, we're just going to click the Go to Website Smart button here at the top. The price of the item, as you've most likely noticed, hasn't changed yet. 
However, if our customer clicks this plus sign to add two of these to their cart, you'll see the discounted price. To double check Odoo, it's time to do some mental math. 20% of the full price of $75 is 15. That's $60 minus one cent, which is $59.99. Now, before we go, I know I promised you that I'd show you an even quicker way to set a price list and price rule to a product, which can be directly done from the product page itself. So we're just gonna click back onto our product form and back on the product form, we're just gonna click this price list smart button at the top. And here we can configure a price list for this product only. Then all we have to do is click new. And here we can enter the price list name, the price, minimum quantity, as well as the start and end dates. And there you have it, Odoers. Just learn how to create, configure, and use price lists and price rules to create multiple prices per product in Odoo sales. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.